Hello, my name is Mike Driscoll, and today I'm going to teach you how to convert images to PDFs using Python. So the first step is to open up a handy dandy uh, Python IDE. The next step is to import um, the pillow package. I like pillow because it makes e working with images uh, pretty easy overall. So let's uh, import image. And then I think we'll create ourselves a nice little function. We'll call it uh, image to PDF. And it'll take an image file and a PDF file as its two arguments. Next, we need to open up the file, the image file that we pass in. So we'll do open image file. And then we need to do a save. And so we will save that to the PDF file path that we're using. And next, we just need to do name equals main. And then we can call it image to PDF. And I have a Buffalo picture I like. So I'm going to say buffalo.jpg. And we'll just create a buffalo.pdf. All right, let's save that and give that a run. And there's no output. So now we can just jump on over to my finder. And pretty soon, we'll have a PDF. Ta-da, that turns one picture into one PDF page. But what if you want to do something a little more interesting? Let's say we want to take a series of images and turn that series of images into a multi-page PDF file. We can take the same kind of concept and change it so that now it takes a list of files. So this can be like a list. We can call that a list of strings. Uh, let's see, strings. And this is just a string. And what to say is not returning anything, so that'll be none. And then the next step is to grab the first image from our list. So we'll say image file zero. And we'll convert that. I don't think this conversion is actually necessary, but some tutorials say it is and some say it isn't. So we'll, we'll go with it for now. And then we need to create some image objects of the rest of the images that we're going to pass in. So we'll say image.open, whatever image there is. And we'll convert it to just to be consistent, so RGB. And then for image in image files. But we don't want it to convert to the first one that we popped out here at the beginning. So we'll say one to the end of the list. All right, so that should give us image objects. And then we have image.save PDF file. So we need to change this so that we do save all equals to true. And then we need to append images. And when you append it, you need to pass in image objects. So this has to be a list of pillow objects, pillow image objects. All right, the last step that we need to do, let's see, I'm gonna change this to images. And we'll change this to images. And we need to change this to a list. And we'll add some other pictures. I've got some flowers I took in Dallas a long time ago that I like. So we'll put that in there. Make sure we say page JPG. And I also have a lighthouse I took a picture of not too long ago. Now yeah, it's been a few years now that I think about it. All right, I think if I did that correctly, we should be able to run this and get a, oh, we just overwrote the Buffalo one. Well, that's okay. Um, so let's switch back over here and close this Buffalo one and then just reopen it. And now you can see it says one to three. So we scroll, you can see I have flowers in there now. And I also have my lighthouse. So there you have it. Two different ways to convert images to or one image to a PDF and then a string, a list of images to PDFs. Um, if you'd like to do more complicated conversions, um, it's not really a conversion, but uh, one product I recommend is like Report Lab because it'll let you insert images into your PDF of your own creation. And then you could add text around it and say, you know, this is where my, my image comes from. This is, this was taken in Dallas. You could, you could probably use another package like, um, another XF package, like a pillow. Pillow can read the XF data from the image, and you could use that to like populate uh, the PDF and say, you know, this 
this image was taken on a Canon or a Sony camera or whatever and include that information too in your PDF. Just some options you could do if you wanted to use Report Lab instead of instead of Pillow to do to do the straight conversion. Either way, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time.